what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ray Wambia if you are a new subscriber here join the family hit the subscribe button if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much your support really helps me now you already seen the the title of my video and i decided to do this as a way of me expressing myself on things that have quit bad habits everything and I decided to do this while I'm doing some cleaning. My house right now is a mess. Now before we start, I have a little gift here. We all know I, like, I love art, I love design. So I decided to buy this wallet from uh, Wallet Kenya. I'll share the details of the wallet, guys. They're on, you can find them on Instagram, at wallet. I still don't know where I'm going to hang this I love it I love Wallax and I think for him he did a really 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 good job with this he did a really good job still not sure I'm going to hang this though uh, here it looks. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to hang it, but it, looks, it really looks amazing. I love it. But, uh, how do you guys prefer starting with your cleaning? For me, I really prefer starting with the. I prefer starting with the uh, with dishes. I can put a yombo kwanza out of the way. I hate, I hate washing, I hate washing utensils. I love cooking. But I hate the viombo part of it. I personally prefer photo of viombo, but I just don't like the scene of it. I prefer starting. Oh, another thing, let me turn on the Syria bed sitter. The sitter, if your house is a mess, I usually tell my friends, Syria bed sitter, and you never took it under. decided to quit early stages of life so I decided to quit on casual dating and only focus on meaningful relationship so what I usually came to understand is that most of the times like things are not working out for me in relationship and I usually thought that it was maybe the other person but in real sense if you come to your own conclusion with your emotional intelligence and your own knowing like your background your childhood trauma and whatnot. Sometimes the problem is usually you and not the other person. So I came to the decide to the decision whereby I will only focus on meaningful relationship. Let's focus on one person, deal with them. Thing I've come to notice with a lot of uh, with me with, with dating without intention is that you'll always feel unfulfilled. You'll always look for something more than what you have. Like they say. Instead of 
trying to look at the grass the grass is green on the other side start watering your own grass so if it's your own communication skills that are not okay work on that if it's if it's your bad habits in the relationship work on that you have to accommodate somebody else in your if you have to accommodate somebody else in your life you have to really take time and learn them but you can't do that with just casual dating of which i'm not against casual dating at some point you need that uh, the old saying if you kiss a lot of frogs you'll find the one it's okay but for me it reached a point where i decided no i'm going to take this opportunity this direction with somebody i'm going to learn everything that needs to be learned in how to grow a relationship in how to grow with somebody and just stop casual dating not in such just casual dating just but dating without any intention yeah because for me like I, I, in the past most of none of my relationship used to last more than three 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 years like uh, it usually hit the three mark or maybe like six months something happened and i usually thought to myself oh, it's the other person it's the other person sometimes in life also if you have to do something you have to be intentional with it your intention your intent your intent into into something also shows that you are so committed into making something grow but if you are if you are dating somebody at the same time here you you feel like you can get more from somebody else so you have like multiple people dating i don't think you can reach at a level where you want to reach in that direction but with, this is my own personal opinion some people prefer just some people are not for monogamy or maybe just one person that's you but for me this is one thing that i really decided to quit and just focus on one person one goal then that's grow to grow each other now by focusing on like meaningful relationships like i've learned that i've become more connected with somebody i've become more in tune with myself i've learned how to grow i've learned so much about myself rather than even the other person like if somebody gets angry you don't just jump into conclusion like you have to listen to somebody first of all like where are they coming from like it's like once you accommodate somebody like you're in a meaningful relationship it will not always be about you but it will always be about you guys as a whole it's not about her it's not about you it's about you guys as a whole you just have to accommodate each other you don't have to give up with the first flow of uh of, of disagreement disagreeing does not mean that you guys do not love each other or something like that kukosana ni kawaida yeah so yeah i think for me one thing that i've quit is casual dating now so after i do the dishes i usually now prefer now to now clear up everything so if just making my bed there is nothing on the seat and then i sweep then i mop most people prefer i don't know most people prefer to sweep then and then clear up things on the bed i don't know. I prefer now that I can panga kwanza. habits that are just unhealthy so that was drinking all the time and necessarily uh, engaging in activities that are harmful to my body i decided to quit on that entirely like in the past i used to drink a lot <clears throat> and uh, first of all it affects your health it affects you uh, mentality it affects your finances like you'll find yourself like always spending a lot of money just on drinks and the bad thing is that you um, got a hangover you just wake up with a bad hangover with bad, bad regrets although there were some good times but right now i try to do my best to be 
cautious with everything that I do with my that enters my body. I do some workouts, I do some running. So of late I've been feeling so energized to do something. So even when I'm tired, like I'm not that tired, tired because my body is my, my body retains retains a lot of energy. So I decided to quit on all bad habits. <laughs> like you can't be perfect entirely, but I think I usually tell people don't don't aim for perfection. Just try to have a balance in your life. So if it's drinking, a drink on a Sunday, make sure you eat well. Uh, if I hydrate well, don't wake up with bad hangover because you didn't drink well, you didn't eat well. That is, just take care of your body entirely. Also, another way of having a good health is just eating well. Like I said in my previous videos, eating well does not have to be expensive. But you can just like eat a lot of greens, eat a lot of white meat, drink a lot of uh, natural juices and what not. Uh, this is my own personal view. I'm not telling anybody to stop drinking. I dr I still drink. I just have a limit to everything that I do. I decided I will entirely like health is wealth. Yeah, he health is wealth. Like the bad thing of indulging in negative habits that are. Uh, that are going into your body are the long-term effects like right now you can tell yourself okay i'm just drinking every friday i'm just drinking every day there's no harm but once 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 you start docking in on your 50s and all that now the repercussions start so i decided to quit on bad habits that are unhealthy So once I'm done with clearing stuff, I get to the brooming now. So another thing that I decided to quit was I decided to quit on being a yes man. Now over the years as I over the years I came to understand who I who I was as a person. One thing that I came to learn is that I usually was I was usually afraid of trying to disappoint the other person. So let's take for example if it's work. I would never be I would always be afraid of saying that I can't take more work because I didn't want to disappoint the other person. Or maybe I just needed more money. So it made me so unproductive. In other cases, let's say for example you have you have friends who have a Let's say for example bad habit so but since you don't want to disappoint them if they always invite you to go somewhere and you don't want or you don't feel you always say yes and you come back home feeling drained you come back home maybe you've wasted money so if i fight it like for me i just came to say that but for my own case i'll never be a yes man to everything uh, if i see you have bad habits and i can't accommodate them no if, let's say if I don't, I don't, genuinely don't like somebody and uh, I feel like they are destroying a part of my life, I say no immediately. Also learn to say no immediately in your life. Like for example, don't wait for uh, something to be destroyed and then now you say yes. One other thing that I decided to quit, I decided to quit on being a yes man. Okay, so I think I'm done cleaning, but I still haven't mopped. I still don't know where to hang this. You guys can help me decide where to hang this. Because I really love it. I wish I had proposed maybe for it to be horizontal. But yeah, for now, it'll be on the floor for a minute before I decide where it's going to go. Another thing I decided to quit on was I decided to quit on quitting. Now what I came to realize is <clears throat> most of the times I would start something in an exciting kind of way and immediately something goes wrong, I don't finish up, I don't do the follow up. So of late, literally, and it's so fulfilling because I do something, <clears throat> even if it's hard, even if it's challenging, I have to make sure I finish it. In the past I used to make things seem so exciting in the first part of it. 
but when things really become became hard <clears throat> i would leave it on the door like i had so many projects that were so amazing with so many good ideas but i never had the chance to do it like a follow up i never completed anything so one thing that i decided to quit was quitting on quitting i guess so lastly uh, i've done i've done i've done the cleaning my house looks so good right now i've washed the dishes i've swept i've mopped i didn't just, just didn't show you the video but as a ash right now i need to go and do, take a bath but lastly one thing that i decided to quit on is i said to quit on not quitting on youtube so if you watch this video until this moment thank you so much i am dedicated to this entirely i decided i'm going to go into youtube full time so if you're watching please do me a favor hit the subscribe button i decided on my end never to have any excuses on not being able to do a post every week there's a vlog up please subscribe